Hello everyone, it's Alexart here. In this video I would like to talk about cheats, tips and tricks I usually use in build and buy mode. This is the first time I'm doing voiceover so I hope you'll like and enjoy the video. Without further ado, let's get it started. I use fair amount of cheats, you can see a list of them on the screen. It's move objects on slash off, which allows to pick up, move and delete any object in building by mode. Also, I use loop prop allow 45 degree angle of rotation true, which allows to put items diagonally. If you want objects to be placed at one of four intervals within the grid, you can use set quartal tile placement on, then press Ctrl plus F to activate or deactivate it. If you need full freedom, you can use bullprop snap objects to grid false, which allows to put items anywhere. In my opinion, it's better to use them with clutters and decorations. If you want to build more than 4 floors, you can use set highest allowed level and then write the number you would like to set. There is also bullprop constraint floor elevation true slash false with true being default. When it's false, terrain can be changed even when the objects are on it. It's useful when you want to create bridges, garages that are attached to houses, underground garages and more. If you'd like to know how to build using this cheat, I recommend you to check out these videos created by T-Addict and CozyPixels. I will leave links in the description. So now we know the cheats. But instead of writing them all the time when we launch the game, we can create aliases or shortcuts. What should we do? We need to find user startup cheat file, which is located in documents, folder is EA games, then the sims2 or the sims2 ultimate collection, and then enter configuration folder. Once you find the file, you can open it using notepad. When you open it, you will find this file empty. But don't worry, I will show cheats I have in mind. The first column is the cheats that work automatically whenever I launch the game. So I don't need to write them all the time. As you can see, I have bullprop testing cheats enabled true that turns on debug mode. I also have allow 45 degree angle of rotation true cheat. Bullprop don't merge neighborhood flora false makes all the plants in the neighborhood visible from the lot view. Lot skirt size increase 120 allows the player to see the whole neighborhood from the lot view. Now let's get down to aliases and shortcuts. As you can see there is a text line, alias, text string, cheat command, short description, long description. We can take move object cheat as an example. Here it is. So instead of text string we can type let's just say MON. Then in the cheat command, we will add move objects on. We can replace the show description with allows the player to move objects that are normally unmovable. As for the long description, we can write allows the player to pick up move and delete all and any object in build and buy mode. That's it. 
These two descriptions can be shown when you use the help command in the cheat console. In case you forget or don't remember what does a specific cheat do, it can be very helpful. Of course it's up to you what to type here, but make sure to check the formatting of your aliases carefully. Be sure the cheat command, short description and long description fields start and end with a quotation mark. So here is my cheat file. As you can see, instead of long and short descriptions, I simply repeated the cheat command. You just need to keep the formatting and it will be fine. Hotkeys can be very handy when it comes to building, I'd like to show some of them I use often. Instead of rotating items with a mouse, I use these keys you see on the screen, because it allows you to put objects at 45 degree angle if you activated the cheat I have talked about earlier. Also I press these keys to move wall hangings and lights up and down. Sometimes you want to place two or more items on the same wall, but instead of using move objects cheat, you can press Ctrl plus Alt and then put it with no problem. Do you remember when I used to put half walls and railings to cut floor tiles in half? Well, not anymore. You may have noticed how I did one not using any tool in Country Cottage House Speed Build video. Here's what we should do. Choose any floor tile from catalog, then press Ctrl plus F and then place it. See? It works! If you added too much terrain paint that you wanted, you can reduce it by holding Ctrl and clicking left mouse button. We all know that roofing is hard, but have you ever built it in front of the wall and then the house looked like this in the neighborhood view? I don't know why it happens, but I know a good solution. Instead of building a roof exactly to the wall, you need to, to drag it one tile further, like through the wall. And problem solved! There is many ways to build a roof, and I would like to suggest watching these tutorial videos by Max Playground and Simmergetic. People who make custom content, mods, and full replacements are real MVPs. They keep the game fresh and alive. I have quite a big amount of this content in my game, and I would like to share the most essential replacements I use. There is a white wall top default texture replacement created by Marinata. It looks awesome. Also, I have white ceiling default replacement made by Honeywell. The creator also has this beautiful roof replacement, so I hope you'll check them out. To be honest, I don't really like the blue glass windows in vanilla game, so I use white window glass replacements made by Sleek. Let's talk about rugs. Originally, when you put them using set quartal tile placement cheat, they look distorted, but this mode made by Huge Lunatic fixes the issue. Very highly recommended. And as a bonus, I would like to note a ceiling light fix made by Management44. 
It fixes Lunatech ceiling light and makes it look more accurate. So that's it for the video. I hope you will find it useful and if you have any suggestions for tips and tutorials, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and happy simming!